Welcome back to the channel, this is Wasabi. This is a battle on the highway map and we're following Fury from Fiddy Clan in his Scorpion G. Now he's bottom tier in this match and he has a mission to complete and the mission is TD-15 for the T-55A, that's um, TD-15-3. Uh, now let's have a quick look at the conditions. Do 6,000 hit points of damage to any vehicles and for honours destroy five enemy vehicles and win the battle. A uh, bit of a tough ask in a tier 8 in a 10 tier 10 match but we can see Fury is basically loaded for bear with um, well, nearly all premium rounds, uh, a few HE rounds so and that will do him good stead for him. Uh, that was a good shot there into the EBR 75 and he wasn't spotted which is um, fortunate because you can be a bit vulnerable um, at this position. Uh, there you go, second shot in also hits and penetrates and is he going to get the kill shot? And he's got to anticipate now that the 75 has gone out of draw range so that didn't go in um, or if it did it bounced and but was out of sight. So, um, now Fury is one of the best players on the server in this particular vehicle. Um, he's not, doesn't mean he's no good in other vehicles, but um, yeah, he's been playing the Scorpion for a little while and has hit the top of the ranks as far as I'm aware. So he's already up to 1385. Now, um, yeah, 6000 damage, that is a pretty high score for a tier 8. But as this is a tier 10 game, there are a lot more hit points in the pool. As you can see, there's um, over 20,000 hit points. So to do 6,000 means, yeah, you're doing around about a third of it. So there's plenty of um, tanks with lots of hit points. Um, there's Lance and C, which is a tier 8. Now again, just notice he pulled back as soon as he fired, even though he's behind a bush, and just in case he did get spotted potentially from the side because your camo drops drastically once you've fired in a TD. Now he's found Lerva, who is uh, potentially going to give me a side. It looks like there's an M46 pattern there is running away. There's the Lerva pushing in and gets a good roll 521 and the Lerva goes down to issue 1.30 p.m. Now there's some other notable people in this game. Um, Von the Burglar from 1AR is there an ISU 130. Now that used to be tank only given to moderators, but it was available in I think the Black Market or Holiday Ops um, last season. I think it was the actual Black Market. So it's basically an ISU 152, but with a 130 millimeter gun, and it's a tier 8 um, premium tank destroyer. But uh, don't let that distract you. Um, Fury is the centre of this game, and so I don't normally feature tank destroyer battles, but um, this is a pretty dynamic one. And Fury is going to make the most of his um, experience and skill. So he's just waiting for tanks to drift across his view there. Now, most of those are behind hard cover, but you never know. But uh, okay, now there's a bit of a challenge. The T9. German medium tank, the T-55A. Now it's German because uh, it's an East German uh, tank, so even though it's a Russian uh, vehicle, uh, it uses German crews. And that's the reward for the Tier 3, which is in fact the mission that, um, one of the missions that Fury is trying to complete here is to get the T-55A as the reward. So this, is, this mission will complete the TD missions so he is at nearly halfway. Now he just got spotted by the T55A, but you can see he's um, behind cover there. Now I'm not sure what spotted him there, but clearly, uh, yeah, it wasn't something in gun range. And there's the T55A and a Skoda T50 were all very close. So he's doing well to not lose too many hit points. Uh, now one. Another notable thing about this match, of course, is there's no artillery. Now, he does take a hit from the T-55A, but the T-55A goes down to Von the Burglar. Uh, but he gets two hits in quick succession. Oh, sorry, the Von destroyed the Skoda T-50, so the T-55A is still there. 
and uh, he's down now to 104 hit points. Is he going to get a hit on him? Yes, gets a bit of revenge there, takes out the T55A. Now, just because you've achieved a reward tank doesn't mean you're a good player. Um, unfortunately, some players are using their, um, I should say, colleagues, no, clan members sometimes, um, yeah, basically to try and um, rig missions and get reward tanks faster, which, you know, if you do find that and you've got evidence, then please submit it to custom support. But you see if Fury is playing by himself and uh, he is clearly going to achieve these rewards. Now there's um, the RMH Borsig, and he manages to put a shot in right through the top of the gun shield there. Uh, potentially could have used HE there, but he already had the round loaded. Uh, now he's got a good full side of the TS-5. Now that was a bit of a rush shot there. Now that's one of the things with the um, Scorpion, or even though it's got a relatively slow turning uh, turret, uh, you do get a bit of um, dispersion when you do that. Finally gets a shot in on the TS-5. Um, that brings him up to 5,000, so he's pretty close to his total of 6,000. We told you he was going to do well in this tank. And there's the Lance and Sea up there with 500 hit points. That's uh, still needs a bit more than that, still needs just over 800 to get his total, but there's still a few tanks left in the game, so that Borsig is still around there somewhere. The Lanson, and then there's an AT-15. So the Lanson kills the Sharpature 4. Is he going to turn up? Ah, but there's a better target there. Um, just what Fury needs, the AT-15 full hit points. So puts a shot in through the front of it, and oh look, he's got Von right behind him in the ICU. So can he get his damage before Von does? Yep, 477, and that takes him over his target. So he's in fact achieved the mission, but it doesn't look like he's going to get the honours. There's just not enough tanks left in the game. And there you go. Fury's apologising to Von for stealing the damage. Uh, but yeah, as Von wouldn't mind that much if one gets the kill on the Lance and C. So, still only one kill to Fury. And Von has two, but uh, yeah, they're four tanks up, so this game is a bit of a foregone. Um, now, the SU 30 pm I'm not sure whether he's been spotted, um, but uh, He's got two kills, so yeah, he's certainly been in the action. It'll be interesting to see how many hit points he's got left, but yeah, hit points is not the goal now. Uh, winning the battle is, is, but again, he's already got the mission, at least the primary condition, so he will complete the series of TD missions, um, although he can go back and try and improve the result here in another battle, of course. So heading towards where the... Uh, you might be and Fury's just trying to take a devious route that won't expose him to the, um, the SU and try and spot him perhaps for the other tanks and Vaughn is following up fairly closely but he has a couple of hills in between him and where the tank might be now you can see as Fury is um, basically on low hit points he doesn't just want to walk out in front of the, um, the SU-130 PM and Von is saying yeah wait for the tanks to come up yeah those are one of the dangers when everyone's coming after a single remaining tank uh, but they do it one by one if he's got enough time to reload between shots he can quite easily dispose of the tanks particularly at this stage of the game where a lot of tanks are uh, basically on low hit points I-7 is valiantly coming up, but he is right down on the riverbed, so that's just going to take ages, and I think Fury is getting a bit impatient here. So he's just going to poke out and see if he gets lit. Just getting his gun pointing in the right direction. Okay, he's been lit now, but this SU-130 is looking the other direction. Hello, he's got a turret and it looks like he just shot there. Now that 
gives him a big uh, advantage, um, longer, much longer reload time on the SU, and there's the kill. So that's the end of the game, and they all finishes on two hit, two kills. But look at that, 6.6k of damage. So that was an ace tanker game for Fury, um, picked up the high caliber award, uh, not surprisingly, and the confederate award for damaging a lot of tanks that were then um, killed by his teammates. Pretty decent amount of credits there, 205,000, and uh, also substantial um, experience probably came from various multipliers. So. 1524 base experience, uh, fantastic, well above the standard um, ace tanker level, particularly at tier eight. Um, almost doubled the amount of damage done by the tortoise, and uh, looks like yeah, Vaughn suffered a bit. Um, yeah, I know the ICU-130, a bit of an inaccurate gun. Um, best player on the other side of Sabre, player with uh, over 4K, so well done there Sabre guys. Um, 19 shots fired, 16 of those hit and 15 of those penetrated, that gave him his damage target, including the assisted damage did over 7K of combined damage and finished with a decent uh, credit profit of 67K. Fantastic result.